All right, we are outside of Tanya Drive in Southwest Bend. This is a three bed, two bath house on 0.37 acres. It's 1,344 square feet and it's on a cul-de-sac um, very close to the old mill. The roof is 15 years old um, and the exterior looks to be T111 or composite wood. There are some double pane vinyl windows here in the front. We'll check out the back to see what those are. And uh, there's no sidewalk in the neighborhood, but tons of those beautiful towering ponderosa trees. So let's take a look inside. All right, we're coming on in to the front room. We've got lots of carpet. Here is the living room. You can see that big picture window there. We do have some popcorn ceilings in here and the carpet could definitely be ripped out and replaced with probably some LVP. Uh, the dimensions of this room are 11 feet wide by 16 feet long. So um, all everything is pretty original. Got a coat closet here. And then we come on in to the dining room area. There's just carpet everywhere. This is our um, natural gas uh, stove here for heat. And then there's baseboard heating as well. So we've got carpet here in the dining room and then it does open up to the kitchen. The kitchen's not in terrible shape. We've got some stainless steel appliances, Frigidaire, Amana, um, and frigid air. So, um, decent amount of space. I would recommend probably taking down that wall. Uh, we think it's probably not load bearing. We've got a nice size pantry in here. And then we've got a door here that goes out to the double car garage. So super spacious garage, double car, would certainly fit two vehicles. This is a little storage unit out here, um, or a little storage area. Just some extra space if you wanted to put canned goods or something else in here, uh, or you could remove that. So it is drywalled and very likely insulated. Could be great for a workshop or storage of whatever you like. Let's keep looking inside. All right, so we're coming back in the kitchen here. Nice window looking out to the backyard. These are all um, double pane vinyl windows. And we've got a window air conditioner here. So there is no ducting currently. Everything is um, radiant heat. Coming down the hallway, we've got bedroom number one here on the left-hand side. This is probably 10 by 12. You can see some really amazing wallpaper. That's the best I've seen in a while. Um, carpet again, and then here we can see the crawl space access. So there is a crawl space underneath. This window looks out to the front yard. Coming down the hallway again, on the left, we have bedroom number two, slightly larger, maybe 12 by 14. This does have a double closet. One door is missing. Um, and then we come across here and we've got the laundry. So the washer and dryer do not stay but you have a great spot here for laundry and it does not have doors. So that would be something you might want to add on or put back on uh, water heater. Looks like it's probably not original. So that's good. And then we've got our bathroom here. So we transition from carpet to like an LVP Corian countertop. Um, this is definitely an updated vanity a fiberglass surround shower tub combo and a good amount of storage in here but these are all probably personal items so those would probably everything in here would be gone except for the vanity and 
I would imagine. We've got another closet here on the left hand side. Linen storage. Another closet on the right hand side for coats, other storage, whatever you need. And then we come into the primary bedroom. The primary does have a slider out to the patio. We'll take a look at the backyard in a second. This is a really nice size room, probably 14 by 14. Maybe, no, you're, I'm totally wrong. That's probably 11 by 12. Um, wood floors in the bathroom. Probably an original vanity and a stand-up shower with a uh, fiberglass shower surround. There's also some nice storage in here um, for items. And another double closet. Now we are in the backyard. We're under a covered patio area, so there are two sliding glass doors, one from the dining room that we saw, and then that one that I just came through from the primary bedroom. You can see out here, this is a really huge lot for being in the city. It is 0.37 acres. It is on a septic. It has city water. Here are your ponderosa pines. There are lots of other trees out here that I don't know what they are. This one looks like a fruit tree, probably apple or pear, juniper. Um, so a great area here for hanging out in the sunshine. There's a little uh, greenhouse as well as a shed area. And then from the driveway, you can see there's a gate here. So you could even have storage for a boat, an RV, other toys that you would like to use and enjoy Central Oregon. Looks like there's a horseshoe pit over there. Um, and just another look at the roof here. So it was replaced about 15 years ago and looks really good. Um, yeah, just super spacious backyard. Lots of room for pets to roam. A good amount of shade and kind of a mix of shade and sun and it is it does look to be fully fenced there's evidence of another dog out here so just be aware of that yeah here's the other end of the horseshoe pit super fun so this one is pretty amazing we do not see um, a lot of homes like this in the bend area that you know are at this level of um, cosmetic need of upgrades um, so it will be a project uh, there is some pet and smoke smell inside so that's also something to be aware of but I think you know the neighborhood the size of a lot uh, the proximity to everything here in Central Oregon is fantastic I think that the, there will definitely be multiple offers here um, I think it will be competitive. Offers are due on Monday, and the seller does reserve the right to accept anything before then. So if you would like to offer on this property, give us a call, and we will help you be as competitive as possible in getting Tanya Drive. Thank you.